Hello everyone. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a video uh, entitled 4R36 Movement. Um, I received a request from uh, one of the viewers uh, asking about my putting up a video um, displaying the hand winding capabilities of the 4R36 Movement. And uh, rather than have a 30 second video where I'm just twisting the crown and, you know, there's nothing else, I figured I might as well just go into, you know, basically, you know, not only how to hand wind, but also to hack the movement as well as set the time and date. Uh, that's one of the things that I actually love the most about um, the Seiko 5 uh, line is that every single Seiko 5 uh, has the time or the date as well as the day complication on the dial of the watch, um, which you don't see in a lot of watches, and I find extremely um, useful because I forget the day and date all the time. You know, even though I have an iPhone and you know blah 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 technology yada yada yada, I forget the date all the time. So having this on my wrist at all you know moments is extremely advantageous to me. Okay, so let's delve in. Now, uh, even though that this uh, watch is in the dive style with the unidirectional ratcheting bezel, it is not uh, a, a uh, classified actual dive watch as it's only 100 meters and it doesn't meet the uh, requisite 200 meter dive um, depth in order for it to, you know, be considered an actual diver. To me, that's no never mind because I'm, I never scuba dive anyway i always recreationally dive and you know free dive and things of that uh, sort but i've i've never really felt the need to go deeper than you know 300 feet to me that's uh you know there's there's no real need or you know real want on my part so i don't need a watch that has a screw down crown now i'm pretty sure that all seiko fives have push pull crowns and let me focus in real quick you can actually see on the, this crown there's an embossed Seiko 5 right there and uh, so with this it's going to be push pull so in order to oh first the hand winding I love the hand winding on this okay it's substantial you know it sounds grainy but uh, I, I'm not sure if it was an actual design cue that made the graininess when you hear when you uh, wind it um, actually, you know, something that you can hear or if it's something that's just, you know, a result of the actual engineering of the 4R36 movement. But I find that the graininess that you feel actually adds to the fact that you know you're actually winding the movement. It's not just free flowing and, you know, you have no idea. So... Hopefully you'll be able to hear the uh, the, the graininess. I'm going to turn the crown uh, uh, clockwise. And that's it. Now, uh, when I first got this watch, I wound, uh, I did 10 turns just to make sure it had enough uh, power, you know, in the watch. And even if I had, um, you know, wound it too much, um, you know, like a mechanical watch, uh, all automatics have this clutch, which disengages that gear that you're initially winding. If in case, you know, you, you happen to wind it more than what's needed for it to actually uh, retain enough power. Um, that's the beauty of the automatic movement. All automatics have that clutch. Um, okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the day and date. So you go out to first position, and this is true of all 4R36 movements. I'm not sure if it's the same with all the other uh, watches. I actually pulled it out to the second position, and you can now see uh, the, the second hand stopped. That's the hacking, okay, which you know allows for more precise uh, setting of the time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into first position, the first click that you pull out. You're going to see the second hand go again, but it's still out in that first position. And this is the position that you do the day and the date. Now, if you 
twist it clockwise the same way that you know was the winding you'll see that the days are changing now the great thing about the 4i36 movement is that depending on where you get this watch you'll actually have two languages or roman numerals or you know it all depends on where the watch you know you get it from is to me mine is english and spanish which i find to be most convenient because i'm puerto rican and i'm bilingual so depending on where i'm at where whether i'm in puerto rico or whether i'm up here in the states i can actually change the language of it you know it's and it's a pretty cool design cue now in order to uh uh change the day as well as the date um you always set to the day before the actual date so today is friday october the third so i set it to thursday as you can see and i set it to english okay now if you turn it counterclockwise you see it's a quick set function for the actual days okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set it to the second because i remember i'm setting it to the day before okay now uh and this is true with all automatics you should always do this with the day and the date one day ahead of time that way the gears um and don't do so i think it's between 9 p.m and 2 a.m or something like that otherwise you mess up the gears inside and it's just as a precaution better to you know err on the side of caution so i'm gonna pull out the second position here okay and now i'm gonna set the time as you can see initially it was 11 20 about to be 26 and 15 seconds um so you know i know that when i you know put this through it's going to be at noon because that's the way i set it so what you do is obviously you have to keep going until the date changes now the good the really great thing about this watch is that the date changes pretty you know uniformly near the actual time as you can see the date actually changed right at midnight the day is going to change just before one o'clock as you can see about uh 1250 1248 uh and it changes to that bilingual setting and it'll stay there until around three o'clock as you can see boom at around 303 it changes over to the following day in the language for which you set. Now, um, right now it's 11.29 in the AM. So obviously, you know, uh, just passing midnight, we know that it's going 8 o'clock, 9 AM, 10 AM, and now 11 and about to be 29. We're about to be 11.30. So, put it right there. And I'm wearing another watch so I can actually check this. And then you push the crown back in. And as you can see, the second hand is sweeping once again. And that's that. That is how you change the day and the date on the 4R36 movement by Seiko. And that is also how you hand wind and how you use the hacking um the hacking feature in order to uh, set the time most precisely. Uh, this video was done on a Seiko 5 SRP430. On my wrist is my Seiko 5 SRP207, which is has the same exact movement in it. It's just a different style. Okay, and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope that that... Uh, that request was uh, satisfied with what you saw in this video. And uh, yeah, feel free to like and comment below. And have a great day, guys.